this film was a big new direction for the franchise and I'm happy to say like the film The Living Guys the title sequence is also really a bold new direction for Bond title sequences and I love it because of that. In comparison to the Roger Moore title sequences there is a massive colour and style change here which works so well. This film is a lot darker than the previous films and the title sequence truly does reflect that direction where the Bond series is heading. This time, you basically have a black backdrop, and one of the advantages of doing that is if you do choose to do that, everything you put on front of it should really stand out with a big bang, and I'm happy to say it really does in this tile sequence. I feel instead of having a traditional blue background like a lot of the Roger Moore Bond films did, having the black background really gives this tile sequence a new feel. I also love how, yes, we do get ladies and all the traditional great stuff and imagery associated with a Bond tile sequence. And yet, there's a sneaky little bit still of water in there for Maurice, you good old Maurice trying to add in it there. But it's not so obvious and in your face this time, and it's used so much better. Now, I've got to hear talk about the song. Now, I know John Barry and Ahar didn't get on so well, but my God, this is again, one of those Bond songs I have on constant repeat. I love the song The Living Does. It's such a great Bond song. It's on my regular playlist and also one of those songs I listen to while I work out. Now, if I had to pick one criticism of this title sequence, it would be like in the last couple of title sequences, Maurice Binder did try and experiment and introduce new and different things into the title sequences. This one, it is very much nothing sort of particularly new. It's the stuff that we've just seen in the last couple of films done in a different way, but there's nothing new, nothing like new piece of technology in this one, which is a bit of a letdown. But overall, everything works for me so well in this tile sequence. It's a new tonal direction and change in the tile sequence that does reflect the movie as well. It gives us something new without anything that new in it, which can be a bit of a letdown. This, I have to say, has some great imagery though in it. It's a great song. It perfectly blends together. This is definitely top tier Bond title sequence.